Hey folks, it's Rick. This is my base. And, um, she's 1989. Made in Japan Fender Precision Base. I just took the strings off because I've never done that before. <laughs> on this base. Oops. Don't mind the messy room. She's in really good shape. The neck's really straight. Frets are good. They're pretty. Body's got some dings. But it's always been a decent base. I've just never changed the strings on it. In how many years, Fred? How many years? About 16 years, maybe 17 years that I've owned it. Everyone's changed the strings. But I ordered some from Amazon. They're coming today. And so I was messing around with this thing. Excuse me, Fred. Thank you. Can I help you? I don't think so. I was messing around with this thing. And I took the strings off. The, uh, the tuners are all very wiggly. It's not these screws. These are tight. So, I guess I'll just have to live, since I'm not going to buy new tuners for this, I'll have to live with um, the tension from the strings. Uh, you see, some of these guys are really gummed up with, uh, you know, patina. They're dirty. It's a relic. I'm going to de-relic it as much as I can. I'm going to make it look as pretty as I can. It's, it's a good base. You know, I've often thought, like, maybe I'll buy a cheap base and sell this Fender. Then I can buy more guitars. Not that many more. Not that great of a base. It's got a big ding taken out right there. It's got a big ding down here. It's got a dog right there. Ding. Ding dong ding. But you know, I don't care that much. We'll check out the electronics and see what's going on in there. Get everything sprayed out. Why not? I will oil up this rosewood neck. Clean up these frets. Maybe adjust the height of the pickup. I don't know. I'll definitely fix the intonation up. That's a good bridge. It's a great bridge. This is a great base. Isn't it, Fred? It's a great base. And I'm excited. It's going to get new strings off a base with new strings and a new setup. Look how beat up the neck is. You know why? Because when I play bass, I get done with it and I set it down real quick. And I don't care about the bass as much as moving on to the other parts. Never been a huge fan of playing bass. I just do it when I have to. Oh, good. Look at this. But maybe I'll enjoy playing this bass once I get it fixed up. Excuse me, buddy. Alright. So I won't put you guys through the uh, torture of watching every step, but I am going to clean this sucker up as much as I can. I've got some naphtha. Ooh. There's a ding. Got some guitar polish. Have some simple green. Got some sandpaper and some painter's tape. So we're gonna fix up these frets a little bit. Frets are in great shape, actually. Not sturdy as can be, but it's cool. It's a base, man. About as simple as you can get. All right. More to come. PB five six two. Anybody know what that means? That's what's in my neck pocket. It says the same thing right here on the neck. P P five six two. Cleaning up this neck. Look at the fingerboard. Ooh. I scrubbed it with a toothbrush and simple green. Looks beauteous. Oh, look at the nut. It looks so much better. 
Okay, and I went over those frets. Those frets are all shined up, beauteous. Okay, I'm gonna clean the headstock now. You understand that we're making a video, right? I know. Well, Fred, you're regionally famous. Move it. Okay, so here, after um, going through the pains of taking off those old crappy strings, uh, taking the instrument apart, at least taking the neck off so that I could adjust it, and um, just set up new strings, cleaned everything. Um, shit. Okay, that's as far as I can go. Cleaned everything on it. Cleaned up that chrome on the tuners. Polished it. Scrubbed up the fingerboard with simple green and a toothbrush and then oiled it. Clean this all out with toothbrush. Brand new Ernie ball strings. So there's a chip in it. Um, I took some sandpaper, 600 grit and 1500, and ran it over the neck just to make it feel better. But uh, got it set up. It's pretty low now. So yeah, I mean for a base that I was considering selling to um, to buy like a more current base that might be cheaper and I could take the other money and buy something else but um, no I think I'm gonna hang on to this this is the quintessential bass guitar you know my father who was a jazz musician and his friends when they said that somebody played bass you know they either played bass or they played fender bass and fender bass was sort of the catch-all term to mean electric bass and bass meant upright bass because they were jazz guys. I like it. All right, uh, play it. <laughs> You need to understand that we're doing a video about the bass. Yeah, I know. I know you have a different agenda. Video about the bass. Video about the bass. Video about the bass. Video about the bass. Fender bass, the fender bass, the fender bass. Yeah.